Hello everyone. I haven't made a video in ages, uh, and give you a brief explanation why. Uh, it got to a point where I felt like I was being, I, I felt forced to um, make videos, and that made them not fun for me. And if I'm not having fun, I, I highly doubt any of you are having fun. Um, but at the moment, I'm I'm installing Overwatch because my friend has badgered me into playing it. So um, I'm downloading that, and whilst I'm downloading, I'm going to play this because. Why the fuck not? And the fact that I've launched this and it says this is, you know, not... It has a fucking content warning. Means it kind of weird. I just thought it was a free visual novel I could fucking laugh at. But apparently it's going to be absolutely horrendously... Dis you agree that you're at least 13 and consent to exposure highly dis... Oh, God. Yes, highly disturbing. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm ready for some highly disturbing content. See, there's Ryan. He's, he's just waiting. He's just waiting for me to get it all installed. Yeah, let's go. Please enter your name. Oh, I've got this. It doesn't fit. Backup name. Gorble Snorf. That's my backup name. And if Gorble Snorf doesn't fit, my backup backup name is Gorn. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh, isn't that nice? The kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known... Oh, my God. We used to walk together, but if she's going to chase me, I almost feel better off running away. I just sigh and idle in front of the cross and let her catch up to me. Ha! I'm not going to be doing a voice in this video. I've decided I'm not doing voices. My throat is very dry. I've been yelling all day at work. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. But, oh, yes! Gorble Snorf! Yes! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, oh, you know what? I am going to do voices. It's too much fun. It's too much Even though I destroy my throat, it's too much fun. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Yeah. That's mean, Gorble Snorf. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> now get the fuck out of my face. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. I like this music. By the way, Gorble Snorf, have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, fuck. A club? I I told you already I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. I like I like the fact that Gorble Snorf's being an ass. It's like me in real life, just a complete ass to everyone. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Fantastic, I love this so far. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content on just getting by on the average or spending my free time on games and anime. This is me! Gorbel Snorf is me! Uh -huh. um, also, uh, just just in case anyone's interested, another reason I haven't done a video in a long time is I just got um, uh, engaged to uh, my my new long-term girlfriend. So we've been, we've been having fun, uh, you know, she's been having fun dragging me places, showing off her ring, so yeah. Hmm. Anyway, back to this. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. I'm going to drop out. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What the fuck is a neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. I'm sorry if the voice is just trailed off. I'm just doing whatever I feel like for her. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises. Will you at least promise me you'll try? Yes, I guess I'll promise you that I'll try. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. She just does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh shit, the classroom. I've always failed in school. Um, 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 63. No, okay, it wasn't the answer. The school day... Oh, why am I doing a voice for this? The school day is as ordinary as ever, as it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Club. Ugh. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. 
I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. There should not be a club for that, that's sad. Hello? Say, Sayori. So he must have come into the classroom whilst I was spacing out. I look around that I'm like the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd, oh, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me, <laughs> wait up for me, if it's going to make you late for your own damn club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, did you come to my club? Say Ori. Yes? There is no way I'm going to join your club. Uh, meanie! So you're as vice president of the literature club. But that's the name of this game! We have to join the literature club! Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yes, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd be bringing in a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, fuck, you've sold me. Cupcakes? I'll be there in a j fucking jiffy. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sierra is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, and I'll eat all of the fucking cupcakes. You say, yes, let's go! Oh, this is fun. And thus, today, marks the day, I sold my soul for a cupcake. Best trade in the universe right there. I'd sell my soul for a cupcake. If it was the best cupcake in the world, fucking sell my soul for that shit. I dejectedly follow Sayori, <laughs> Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. There's no one here! You tricked me! This is empty! Same classroom I was in before, just from the front. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Girl one, holy shit, what an impressive name you got. It's a <laughs> welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says such nice things about you. Girl two, fuck me. They, they've really nailed the naming in this game. Uh, seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. I can't keep up with the voices. Damn it. He's like, Gorbo Snorf, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! All words escape me in this situation. Well, I, they'd escape me as well if they all had these fucking voices. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. You don't say! Uh, what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. It's like, Natsuki. Hmm. But the girl with a sour attitude, whose name apparently is Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. It's like, you, you can't just ignore her when she- you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girl. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Oh, they do have names. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears completely more mature and timid, well, not with the voice I give her, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's just, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? What a nice I give her. Oh, that's right. It's great to see you again, Gorbo Schnorf. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other, well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, is it you too, Monica. Mm -hmm. Come sit down, Gorble Snorf. We made room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. 
As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space in a small and one next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a rat tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling water to take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly matches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, oh. It's like Natsuki lifts the foil up tray to a dozen white fluffy cups that doesn't look like little cats. Great! I'd eat that. Drawn with item, little piece of chocolate used to make ears. It's like, oh, it's so cute. It's like, oh, we had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. I know she started as a pirate. Now she's sort of devolved into a farmer, but that's fine. It's like, uh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get ice on her face. I turn the cupcake around my foot, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. I'm imagining I'm saying that with a mouth full of fucking cupcakes. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Is it? Oh, oh. Why are you thanking me? It, it's not like I... You know, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? I I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss this conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each, uh, each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. He's like, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. To be fair, I fucking love tea. He's like, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Is it? That, that, that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. I mean that. You know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what you consider the lit? What made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica. I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori already seemed really happy here. So. That's a, oh no wait, that's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh -huh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand any of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing we're arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. We'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Now I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. So you could put it that way. Not many people here are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Like, yeah! We'll do our best. It's like, you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Well, except for Purple Hair here. She doesn't agree. She's very, very tone deaf and bland. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have a really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Also, why did this have a warning? It doesn't seem like anything terrible's happened yet. Unless a meteor hits and they all become zombies at once. I don't know. No, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm. So, Gorbalsorf, what kinds of things do you like to read? 
Well, um, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I might have quieted myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. But not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that's why I joined the literature club. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. It was obvious by the way she her li eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. So she's antisocial. Great! I love antisocial people. They never talk to me. Which me and myself makes me antisocial. But you know, I like a lot of things. Like anal. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Not what I was thinking. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I read a horror book once. I grasped something I can relate to at the minimum. This right, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? Well, you wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I well, you guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes darted to me for a split second. Never mind. Natsuki wants Gorbel Snort's dick. That's the way I see it. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? what? No, that's the wrong one. What, what gives you that idea? It's like, you, you left a piece of scrap paper behind Lurse Club, man. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. Uh, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. So it's like, sidles up behind that. So I haven't seen sidle as a word in ages. And puts a hand on her shoulders. It's like, I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? It's like, I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't. It's like you. You wouldn't like them. I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers. Exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, we can set an example and help Nurtsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for you. Oh, I, is that, wait. <coughs> ah, sorry, I'm getting my voices mixed up again. I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, we well, have an idea, everyone. They look quizzingly at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with one another. That way, everyone is even. It's a, uh, um. Yeah, let's do it. It's like, plus now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Gorbel Schnorf? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? Watch that! 
now that we're back to the original topic of me joining a club, I've only come forward with what's been on my mind the whole time. I never said I'd join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. Wolf would stay back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Go, Wolfsnorf! You, you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. They all their eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been like, you know, super pissed. You think, then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Thanks, I, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think that we, with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. Gorbel Schnorf, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself sexually. That's how I express myself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the cast out Monica with my mediocre writing suit? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as they clean up their food. Hey, Gobble Snorf, since we're already here, do you want to talk? Or do you want to walk home together? Uh, never walk home together anymore because you always stayed after school clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. I'd really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club. Why the fuck not? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Give them a banging! Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh! Oh, this is something I wasn't expecting. Pick words you think your favourite club member might like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh! Oh, um, oh, this is going to be great. I can write my own. Let's go with, what do I like? What do I want to put? Crimson, crimson, crimson waterfall. Um, oh God, this is too hard. I don't know. Um, puppy, uh, anxiety, explode. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, loud. Um, infinite. Uh, climax. These are all, uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it as dirty as possible, but there's some ones, there's words in here. Prayer does not fit in with what I'm going for, but let's go with meager. Um, beauty. Kiss. There we go. Giggle. Um, Oh, I've got seven more words. Let's go with, uh, Dazzle. Uh, Marshmallow, that's the name of my dog. We're putting that in it. Um, blah, 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 blah. Strawberry. I don't know why I picked strawberry. Uh, let's go with Twirl. Uh, Sparkle. Death. Oh, brilliant. Sparkly death. How fantastic. Can't wait to read this. This is some fucked up words I put into this. Festa. And let's start with the last. Let's, let's, let's end on something lovely. Let's end with family. Let's see how fucked up this is going to be. Oh, I'm going to, I want to get to the poem bit and then I'm going to stop. I feel like that's a good place to stop. There. Yeah. We are again, Gorbel Schnorf. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Gorbel Schnorf. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Lucky like deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. 
and last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Nat, Nat Shoki, you surely have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds a up with scene saying, Monica and manga. It's like, oh, manga is literature? Swiftly defeated, so Natsuki pops back into a seat. Don't worry, guys. Gorbel Snorf always gives it his best. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. As long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, so, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two really are good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Gorblesnorf can become good friends too? Um... Sayori? Hmm? <laughs> As usual, she seems oblivious to the weird situation you just put me into. Oh! You even brought you something today, you know! Wait, wait, is this, no, wait Sayori. Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy! It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong voice. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, we'll make a big deal if you don't want to be. If you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. And bang! Pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, bang. Oh, discuss it if you wanted. Naked. This, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. And I imagine the enthusiasm of taking the book, he just snatches it out of her hand, just goes, fuck yeah, book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Two years, it'll be back to you. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect him to kick off some scheduled activities. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, they're having a cheery conversation, buried in a book. I want to read my poem. Rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. <sighs> I don't think we're going to read the poem. Um, and this has been going on for very long, so I'm going to save. Here. There we go. Saved. And I'm going to pick this up again when I decide to play it again. So, um, yeah, that was fun. I'll, it's been a while since I've done a fa some voices and that. That's actually kind of interesting. Um, I've, I'm still curious as to why it has a warning of saying, It's fucking dark and depressing. Um, I can't wait to get to that bit. Um, but yeah. Um, that's, that's the Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm coming back to it eventually. Um, so, yeah. Thank, thank you for watching, basically. Um... I haven't done a video in a while, so I forgot my usual sign-off. Uh, stick around if you want to see more, I guess. Um, subscribe if you want. Uh, you know, sure. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not subscribe? Not going to take anything out of your day. So, um, yeah. See you in the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.